Hey, this is Dizzy Reed from Guns N' Roses, and you're watching GNR Central. Yeah! <laughs> everybody what's going on and welcome to guns and roses central and today i want to talk about the song november rain and why guns and roses then drummer who performed on the song matt sorum gets criticized so much for his playing on the song so he's had to explain himself a lot over the years but in 2012 mike portnoy who's a fellow drummer criticized november rain on social media so former dream theater and adrenaline mob drummer mike portnoy has never been shy about expressing his opinion, and a few days ago, back in 2011, he tweeted his thoughts on the song November Rain, saying, November Rain is an all-time classic song, but why on earth did Matt Sorum play the exact same fill every four bars, 23 times to be exact, he tweeted on August 4th, 2011. So a couple days later, Matt Sorum responded to Mike Portnoy, saying that Phil was Axel's idea as a musical phrase that carried through the trilogy, don't Cry and Estranged, those albums Use Your Illusion 1 and 2 have sold 20 million combined. Talk about a mic drop. So Sorum continued to tweet saying, Remember kids, drumming isn't all about fancy drum fills and splash cymbals. Ask Charlie Watts, Ringo, and Phil Rudd. So instead of erupting into a Twitter war, things settled down with Portnoy's response saying, Agree 1000%, Ringo is one of my greatest heroes. No disrespect meant, bro, just asking an observation, or just making an observation of that song. Peace. So as far back as a couple of years before that, Matt Sorum actually had to defend his drumming on November Rain. So he did an interview with Music Radar saying the track I get the most amount of grief for from drummers is November Rain. The reason I did that Tom fill so many times is that I felt it was a musical part. A lot of drummers were like, why do you play the same fill so much? So he went on to say that me and Axel were sitting in the studio late one night having a couple of drinks and listening to Elton John and a song called Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me came on. Axel goes, did you hear that? And I'm like, yeah, I love Nigel Olsen, man. He says, do that on the song we're going to record tomorrow. We'd rehearsed it, but I haven't had all the fills and stuff. It was just a groove. In the end, November rain. I just got into the whole marching band trip. So the actual detailed story goes that Axel and Matt were in the studio late one night. They were taking shots of vodka and eating caviar that they'd just gotten from a deli down the street. And they were listening to Elton John and that drum fill came on and even Matt Storm said in the making effing videos uh, documentary on November rain that Nigel Olson's trademark is that he would use the same fill over and over again in the same song. So that's kind of what he tried to go for. So that does it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you love GNR as much as I do. Also go check us out on GNRcentral.com to get your latest guns and roses and related news. Take care.